Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Bushcraft and Survival. My name is Dan. I'm here in the Philippines. Um, it's Friday. Time for that wood Friday fire for you. I'm out here on the stone table struggling today unbelievably struggling gonna just use some batwood here of course see I thought I had a piece of Douglas fir there we go Here's a piece of Douglas fir fatwood. This is something Tommy sent to me that I believe Redneck Renegade gave him. Gifted on. Just, Tommy's such a wonderful guy. But this um, Douglas fir fatwood is fantastic. Let's try that once. I'm going to use a Mora Garberg. This is a knife that our good friend John up in Buffalo, Minnesota sent us. Thanks, John. Thanks, Tommy. Some shavings here. Now this fat wood is a little different than the regular fat wood. Still has a pretty good smell. It's a different smell, but it's good. Kind of hard. It's not waxy like the other fat wood. It burns real well. The other times that I've used it, Tommy gave me a whole necklace of pieces like this that had a little hole drilled on the end of it. Each piece. Tommy and Rita were so nice to us. All the stuff they sent us. I love the Coast Guard swimming trunks that he sent me. And everything else. Tommy's quite the artist, isn't he? Enjoy watching his videos. His craft work, his painting, his plaques and things. Pieces are bouncing off my little tray here, but be real careful reaching around here on this table. You just all you gotta do is just bump one of these little stones and slice you right open. Quartzite is just like pieces of glass laying around. I sliced my palm open the other day, loading the car up. So happy Friday, happy Fatwood Friday, guys! This uh, video to say hi to everybody. I tried in June to give a fire every day. This will probably come up and. You'll see this in July probably, but or maybe next Friday. All right, I'm gonna do something different on this uh, Fatwood Friday. I'm gonna take a little piece of. of coconut netting. I'm going to fluff it up a little bit. I'm going to use that for the base of my fire. I'm having zero luck with the fat wood and the uh, charred 
cotton balls today. So let's just put the fat wood on top of that, huh? I don't think there's any rules on how you start your fire. The secret is to start it, right? Smell that beautiful fat wood, beautiful pine smell. All right, got a cotton ball here, charred up. And how about a got a piece of petrified wood, maybe find one here. Got a big piece of petrified wood here. How about that? Great big piece. We're using a file for a striker. We can find it. <laughs> okay. There it is, way over here. All right. So this is a piece of petrified wood. Beautiful stuff. Sparks are just bouncing off. Moisture's already beginning to affect the cotton balls, I guess. There we go. Slight little extra fluff did it. Set that under the under and in the coconut netting. Should we try our pocket bellow again? It's already smoking a little bit. It's very nice. Real light breast for the coconut netting. A little bit harder breath when this humidity, I think, was is what I'm lacking. The light breath this isn't, isn't cutting it. That should go over into the fat wood, I would think. Looks like it is. Happy Fat Wood Friday, guys. Really appreciate all your friendships that I've got from you. Everybody watching. All your nice comments and, and helpful tips and things like that. Really appreciate it. Hashtag 22 a day, no more. Go out and have some fun. Of course, watch your six really close. Don't take things for granted. Be extra careful around the water this year. No, this Douglas fir fatwood is burning nicely. It's not quite as black, not quite as sooty as some of the other fatwood is, but it's it's fantastic though. 
thanks Tommy and uh, thanks John so until next time guys take care and be safe Hi, welcome to Blind Owl Outdoors.